Welcome back to Z Tutorials. This is part two of our tutorial on how to do our CSS and HTML website. And last time we worked on our header and we did our header div using div tags of course and we styled that in our style sheet using the pound sign and our curling brackets. Now today we're going to work on our body, our main content our main content area. And what we want to do is you want to put a left content and a right content. So you want to have a like on the left side a small um, area where we can put advertisements, a side menu, and then on the right we want to have our main content where we can have our featured video or our blog, whatever you want there. So start off by just typing in your div ID like we did last time. If you don't know anything what I'm talking about, please go back to the first tutorial so you won't get lost. We're going to call this div ID the content wrap. Why are we call the content wrap? Because everything inside the content wrap is going to be our right content and our left content. And we want the wrap to wrap it around so that it'll be centered and that we won't come into any difficulties later on. It'll basically make everything much, much easier. So if I type something there, we can just see our div. And as you can see, it's set to auto. By auto, I mean if I press enter a couple of times, it'll expand and it'll just pan out the whole page. So what we want to do is we want to style that content wrap so that it's centered and that it's um, 980 pixels wide, the same as our header. So to style it, it's a div ID. So the div ID means that it's a pound sign or the hash sign. If it's a class, it's a period sign. I told you all this before. So pound sign because it's an ID followed by the name, which is content underscore wrap have our curling brackets, opening curling brackets and, cur and closing curling brackets. We want our height to be about 800 pixels. You can set it to auto but I like to put um, a specific height in it just so I can see what I'm working with. Our width is going to be of course 980 pixels because that is the side of our header. Now we want it to be centered and I showed you last time an easy way to center which was margin left set to auto and margin right set to auto. Now by the way when you're finishing off your styling you must finish with a semicolon otherwise it won't work. So make sure after typing the auto you put your semicolon. And now we can see our lovely content and body area here. Now it looks pretty good it's all centered and it's got the background color. The background color was changed in the page properties. If you don't have the properties panel you need to go into window and make sure page properties is ticked. So now that we have our content wrap we want to put in our left content. So this is easy. Make sure that the div, the closing div for the content wrap is after everything else. So as you can see there in the top line it says div ID content wrap and then there's an angle bracket and then the closing angle bracket is below what I'm typing now. Now that's very very important because then it'll be inside that wrap. So inside the content wrap you want your div ID left content. Again it's an ID because it's a big thing. I told you guys if you want to do a class you want to make that smaller things like um, next buttons, things like that, just buttons in general would be your classes. So that we have that we're going to put pound or hash sign, left underscore content, some curling brackets opening and curling brackets closing. Press enter in between those brackets and you want to press height. Again we're going to keep the height the same, 800 pixels, just so it doesn't look all weird and we can just see what we're working with properly. Now you want it to come in right down there, about 250, 240 pixels maybe. Finish with your semicolon. Now we want this to be on the left hand side because it is our left content. If you want it to be on the right, you want it to be on your right. As you can see there it is on the left already, but when we put in our right content, they will both mix and match and they won't be set right. So just to make sure that it stays on the left hand side, we want to put in float. Float will come up, press enter. Your colon will come up and you want to press not pound, left. So now it's left, finish with your semicolon. So now it is stuck on left. It's not going to budge from there because in our style sheet we have it set that it has to stay left. So now we've our left. Maybe you want to put some text in there. Whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm thinking, I don't really know what I'm going to do there. I might have a, a menu bar, navigation bar, because I don't have a navigation bar up the top, like under my header, as I usually do. I was thinking of putting it on the left. Maybe I might put advertisements there as well. Maybe I might put both, but we can see later on. 
just pop into our style sheet there I want to put the margin top under our content wrap to 10 pixels because see there I just want to have a little gap so that the header and the content won't be squashed up next to each other and it'll just look better in the web browser that's very very easy it's just made min margin bleh I can't talk today margin top and you just put that to 10 pixels let's pop back into our source code here and as you can see we have some text there you can delete that and just put whatever you want maybe I might put advertisements there I'm not sure yet now we want to pop into our code view again and we want to work on that right content that I told you about so inside our content wrap again because then we won't have to center it and it'll just save us a lot of time so once again our closing div is down there it's under the left content and now it's going to be under our right content so our div ID is going to be right content again it's an ID not a class we're going to open in curling brackets close in curling brackets and close the div now inside that div you can write whatever you want that's going to be our content I might just throw in some text there later on basically our, our div is there you just can't really see it right now so we might go into our style sheet and just give that some um, styling options and features so that it won't be messed around with when we start typing so again it's an ID so press pound write content open curling brackets and close curling brackets by the way make sure these are curling brackets my curling brackets on my keyboard are next to the the P sign and the enter sign they're in between two of them just make sure it's the curling brackets I press shift and the bracket and I'll get a curling bracket give that a height of 800 pixels once again our width is going to be 730 pixels and don't start shouting at the screen right now I know that 240 minus 980 is 740 pixels but there's a reason why I'm doing 730 pixels it's because I want the margin to be 10 pixels between the two divs so I'll put margin left 10 pixels now when I popped into design there you can see it's all messed up and you'd be screaming at yourself what did I do wrong again I told you this is why I did it with the left content I floated the left content to the left hand side which means I'm gonna have to float the right content to the right hand side and you say oh why didn't I think of it you didn't think of it you should have thought of it you learn as you go along so float right and finish with your semicolon now we look at it it looks groovy it looks perfect it's exactly what we want we have our 10 pixels in between there where you can see the hatch and it basically just means that there's 10 pixels from the the header and there's 10 pixels in between the left content and the right content which means nothing will be squished together and it'll just look well and it'll look like a good designed website now we can just write some text in there I don't know what I'm gonna write right now so I uh, might just pause this video and come back when I have some text written so there you go I just wrote in some text there I didn't want to bore you guys by leaving you wait and watching me type so uh, I actually have a quite a good domain I've got geektalk.tk and yes I did register it already now I don't know what I'm gonna do with this website I am gonna put it live on the web maybe you guys might be interested in a giveaway or something um, obviously it's going to get a lot of exposure through my videos because all my videos are going to be on it I don't know what I'm really going to do with it um, leave a comment below on what you think I should do with this website whenever completed I really don't have any ideas except for a giveaway I don't know maybe I should sell it or something I'm not sure by the way I am making websites for people at the moment I'm making one for I think his name's you you are hot it's something like that why are you et or something like that that's his YouTube name you might check him out I'm making a website for him whenever it's done I might make a video showing you guys it and of course I do make websites so if you want a website made just let me know now that website there geektalk.tk is looking pretty good um, we're not going to work on any more today because I don't want to keep these tutorials very long in the next tutorial I think I'm going to have uh, our video right under that text there um, I'm going to leave that left panel for advertisements maybe and later on in the tutorials we're going to go into Google AdSense and I'm going to show you how to set up Google AdSense and how to put ads on your website and how to get more clicks and how much you get paid for clicks basically I'm just going to run you down on everything really so uh, yeah in the next tutorial anyway I'm definitely going to be working on that page again uh, we'll put in our footer and as you can see that's what it looks like right now um, I might do a drop shadow because drop shadows look good on a website 
and I'll also put in the video I'll embed that from YouTube because that way it adds to your views and I might put in a video description like YouTube as you can see in like you're obviously watching on YouTube now if you click on the video description there's like a drop down menu that's called a spray collapsible panel I'll show you guys how to use that too um, we'll also be working on a content uh, uh, sorry a contact a forum page all that good stuff so don't worry we'll be working on loads and loads of tutorials I'm gonna get loads and loads of videos out of this one here and put it live on the web so uh, yeah just let me know what you think you guys I'm kinda out of time now so that's all I'm gonna go through today uh, I hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did of course always subscribe because not only does it help me out but it will help you out because I do upload videos very very regularly and if you want to be one of those people to see my videos in your subscription box then go ahead and click subscribe it is free after all and you won't get lost and you learn along with me so that's all I got this is Z Tutorials signing out